This week's Pasha is Pasha's Chai Sara. At the end of the Pasha, when Rivka was going and she met Yitzchak, it says that the Melech took her. Batokam Rivka Venare Seha. Rivka and her maidservants, they stood up at the Kavna Al Hagmalim and they rode on the camels. But Helachma Achre Ish and they went after after the man, after the Melech, Vayikach Ha'eved, that's Rivka Vayelach. They took Rivka and they went. So I saw one of the Akhari make a diuk in the Pasuk, an interesting diuk, which will be today's topic, is that it starts off saying, Vatekavna al Hagamalim, they rode on the camels. And then it says, Vatelachna Achre Ish, and they went after the man. It doesn't say, Vatekavna al Hagamalim, Vatirkav, and they drove, they rode after the man. It says also, Vatelachna. Halicha usually means by foot. Vatekavna usually means by, by on a camel or on a car, or whatever it is. You're going with something else. So why is the Pasuk start off saying, they rode on the Gemalim, and they went after Acharish. So it's a big sugya. comes up a few times. Eliezer. What did I say? Eliezer, Eliezer, yeah. They went after Evan, Eliezer. Oh, sorry. Eliezer, Eliezer, Evan Avram. So Eliezer, Evan Avram, they went after Eliezer, after Eliezer, Evan Avram. So, there's a big, there's a big sugi in Shas that comes up a bunch of times, which is called Reichev Kimahalech Dameyonat. Meaning, if someone's riding on a camel, or today's days, someone's driving in a car, does he have a din like he's walking or not? Meaning, the, the basis of the question is, is that I'm sitting, I'm not walking, but the camel that I'm on is moving. So do I have a din like I'm sitting, or do I have a din kemahalach like I'm walking? You say like the Shabbos, the big little car, is that your get to get to all the cases in a second. So that's a big, a big shayla and shas. So the medayim from this pasuk, the pasuk is mashma with the kavno al hagmalim vatelachno, and it has a din as if they were walking achrei ish. Now one of the big cases of of Reichiv Kimahalach is there's a in the beginning of Arachayim Simen Beis the Mechaber says also Leilich B'Koyim is Kufi now I go standing up straight like you're a Balgaivo but the Yelich Arba Amos B'Gili Heroish you're not allowed to walk four Amos with your head uncovered you're not allowed to walk four Amos if you're not wearing a yarmulke you're not allowed to walk four Amos that's what the Mechaber says Says the Taz. Venerally, to who I did, the same thing is, Imroichev Agabi Behema. If someone's riding on a Behema, or Yeshu Ba'agola, or he's sitting in a wagon, Hukim Ahalach, it's like he's walking, to Amina Sarperekam in the Gadushim, Roichev Kimahalach Tommy. Riding is as if you're walking. So now, if someone's in a car, and the windows are open in the summer, and his yarmulke blows off into the back seat somewhere. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? So you could say, I'm not, I'm not walking, I'm sitting. You don't turn behind you, that's for sure. Yeah, so what do you do? Mm-hmm. Are you mechuiv to pull over right away to go ahead or find the yarmulke? For Amos is nothing in a car. For Amos is nothing. In a car? miles an hour? Right, for Amos is nothing. But the question is, you have to stop now and pull over the car and go back to the back seat and find the yarmulke. According to the ties, you have to. Why? Because <coughs> by you sitting in the car doesn't mean you're not moving for Amos. If you're in something that's moving, Reichev Kimahalach Dami, it's as if you are, as if you are traveling, as if you are walking. The car is covered, by the way. Okay, so it's not Tachet it's Kip Okay, you may have such a head to, but you have to wear a yarmulke. But in those days, the camels also had covers. No, 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 but, but still, so, even in your house. Yeah. So it's such a thing that you have, even in your house, we wear yarmulke, right? In those we wear yarmulke today, even though you're not tachas, keep it such a way, yeah, still you wear yarmulke. <coughs> the plane. Oh, so it's another thing. People sleep, right? Yeah. While someone's sleeping, 
A lot of times, the Yarmulke falls off. Mm-hmm. Right? What do you do about that? So, you're not moving, you're not walking down the Ramas. So, according to the Allah, if you're not moving down the Ramas, even though in your dreams you may be moving a lot more than Dalai Lamas, mm-hmm. but in actuality you're not moving Dalai Lamas, the Allah is, you don't have to worry about it, even though there's something called a shluf kapal, a shluf kapal of Yamak is that, so you know, wait, wait. You that, uh, that, that means a plane, you, you get it. One second, one oh second, one second. Ah, so if you have a shluf kapal, so it doesn't fall off. But that's all if you're lying in your bed in your house, you. and you fall asleep, and you're sleeping. How about if you're traveling on a plane? Or in the car. And you're on the car. And you fall asleep in the car or in the train or in the plane. Not while, while you're driving. Not while you're driving. No, no, no. That else happens. At least your problem. <laughs> and I travel a lot back and forth, Toronto to New York. And I'm always always nervous, you know, when you're traveling. I said, don't worry, I could do it in my sleep. <laughs> doesn't make it doesn't make it better. No. <laughs> but um, so if you're lying in your bed and you're sleeping and Yamaka falls off, okay? Even though there are a lot of people that are makfit, even when they're sleeping, to make sure the yarmulke stays on. But and a pialoch, it's not a problem. But if you're in a plane and you fall asleep, or you're in a car and you fall asleep, and the yarmulke falls off, you have to make sure you get it back on right away. So if you're in a plane, you're just trying to make sure your head's covered the whole time, even while you're sleeping. It means to wear a cap or it means to put whatever it is. In a plane, you don't have the head to, yeah. so you're not moving down the arms. Crazy plane, down the arms happens probably. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the question. So you want you, you want to take off your yarmulke to check something? Yeah. If you're on a plane, you hit some down the arms. So interesting question. I don't know. You're probably right. If I switch your hat to yarmulke on a plane, you're stuck because in a second you, you move more than down the arms. So by that logic, shouldn't you be wearing a yarmulke in a swimming pool or? A- so yeah, yeah, so it's something else called the uh, Amokar Rechit, when you're washing, you don't have to win. But it's when you're washing. Swimming is not washing. Wow, yeah, it's called so Rechit, so it's, it's that was a, a good one. It, 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 means, it means washing, it means uh, you go to water, you can't wear yarmulke. But with swimming is a pleasure. A mikvah is a washing. It doesn't make a difference, it's a Amokar Rechit, Rechit in those days is pleasure also. Oh, that's right, bathhouse yeah, is, bath is, right. is the pleasure. Yeah, bathhouse is the pleasure. Yeah, so the place where you cannot wear a yarmulke, you don't have to wear it. So, that includes the bathroom? <laughs> Any place you have to wear a yarmulke. So that would be, that would be a big difference of Rechev Kemahalech, that if someone is traveling and they have to try to make sure the yarmulke is on the whole time, because Rechev is Kemahalech, as if you are walking. There's another halacha in Simen Tzadi Dalid, in Elchaz Tfilah. It says, Someone is riding on a donkey, and now comes time to daven. And so daven, what do you do? So we have spoke, we spoke about this once before already, about sitting by da- sitting while you're davening Shmona Esrei. You're not supposed to sit while you're davening Shmona Esrei. Well, before you jump to there, yeah. we, at the beginning, we also have the rules how far one has to go to find the Philosophy Diamond. Correct. So. And that we say, you're right, I know you're headed. We say over there Can that the whole be- house is like Dalai Lama's. I'm referring to something else. Yeah, okay. I'm referring to the fact that we're talking about Hoylech. Yeah. How far a person walks in the 18 minutes or the 72 minutes, whether you're going forward or going backwards. Yeah. Oh, that's a find water, yeah, yeah. That's to find the water. Yeah, yeah. So if you're in the car, are we referring to 18 minutes or are we referring to the no. distance? No, here's Dalar Amis. Dalar Amis is uh, much less than 18 minutes. Dalar Amis, not Dalar Milan. That, that, that's something else. To go that's find water, you want to know what the lock is in the car? I'm saying, no, I'm saying once you're, if we're talking Reichev ke Reichev ke Reichev ke Reichev ke Does that mean it's the same 18 minutes or is the distance of the walking? For what? To go find water? They say it has the distance of the car, not of walking. Yeah. So that's what the lock is. If you're in a car, that depends on how far you get with the car. It's a share of time, it's not a share of distance. It's a share of time. Yeah, not share of distance. Okay. Okay. So as I look over here, someone's driving on a chamor, and now he has to daven. So we spoke about they're not supposed to daven while you're sitting. You're supposed to stand when you daven. So it's better not to daven on a plane where you have to sit. But let's say someone's stuck. Someone's stuck, he's riding on a chamor, and he has to daven. The halacha is, he doesn't have to go down a daven. 
And the reason is, is because he's going to go down, he's going to be torrid, he's not going to be able to concentrate in the davening, he's allowed to continue running the Hamar and davening. That's halacha, not so negated today, because today come out, all the place can hold that while driving a car, you're definitely not allowed to daven. Riding a Hamar in those days, so it's possible to have some concentration while you're driving a Hamar, a donkey, and davening. But when you're driving a car, as we all know, you have to have full concentration. That's why I mean, that's where all the accidents come from. Well, the People, the yeah, we're talking about driving. Get to the passenger in a second. You know, texting and all these things, looking at your phone while you're driving. You look away a second from the wheel. Chas yeah. v'sholem, accidents happen. So the person can say today, there's no head to the damage. At least Shmuel Nesri for sure. We'll see about other things soon. But Shmuel Nesri for sure, there's no head to bechal to damage Shmuel Nesri while you're driving a car. Even though there's a heter by Reichiv ala Hamar, driving on a Hamar, you're allowed to daven Shmuel Nesri if you can't go down. Christ can say today, driving a car, to daven while you're driving, not the passenger, the driver, no heter today. So that's, that halacha changes today when we're talking about Even cars. Not too much Shmuel We get to brachas, we get to benching, maybe later on. This is all Shmuel Nesri. the passenger level? So we'll see, yeah. So how about, that's, that's the driver. Now, the passenger, he's in a ship or on top of a wagon, but he's not the driver. If he could stand up, he should stand up. Why? Because you're supposed to damage more than you're standing. So if you're in a wagon and you could stand up, stand up and daven. You sit in your place and you daven. So here, the Taz has a question. It says like this, what do I gain when I'm standing? So I'm going to stand, I'm, let's say in an airplane, very common child, on the bus. And these buses that go, I know, from New Jersey to Manhattan every day, they dive in on the bus. We had it once also here. We had a bus for Sharon's Hassan, and we came back. We dive on the bus in the morning. Now, you're diving on the bus, so you're supposed to stand up. Stand up when you're diving, because you're supposed to dive when you're standing, not sitting. It says the Taz, I don't understand. What are you gaining by standing? It's as if you're walking. It's as if I'm walking, so I'm not standing. I'm, I'm walking. You're not supposed to dive when you're walking either. So what do you gain by standing up in a bus or in a plane if anyway it's Rechev Kimahalech? It's as if you're walking. So you don't gain anything by standing. That's a Tazas Kasha. Which is an accepted sign of respect. Oh. Okay. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. That's a prima godness terrace. The Yeshlaim is like this. My Mahani, the Masha Oymid, the Karna, the Sphina, Kimacha Karna, the Sphina, Allahas, have like him a halak mahatsmoy. He's walking himself. If he's walking, you don't gain anything by standing. And the end of the Taz says that the reason why the Tsar Kalami, the Khan, the Indian Tfila, by Tsrikhul, the Spalam, the Umid, we only say to stand the Davin standing, Alak Dei Shetei Amish Shina Olaf. Only because you should have the fear of the Shekhinah on you when you're davening. Because those didn't you have to stand in the same place. Just the reason why you have to stand in the same place is you should have the fear of the Shekhinah on you. And therefore, Obezeh Sagi Kam Oymid Bekara Vesvina. Avshale Mikri Oymid. Even though it's not called that I'm standing, it's good enough. Even though it's not called that you're standing, but that's good enough. Why? Because the main thing is to have Emet HaShekhinah. According to the Taz, if I have a choice, I could sit and dive in more be'ema, or I could stand and I'm holding on and I'm moving around and I'm flying around. Which one is better? Yeah, be'ema falling. Uh, be'ema falling, yeah. But you have to be'ema shashamayim, not the be'ema falling. <laughs> so which one, what should you do? According to the task that would come out, you don't gain anything by standing because it's not considered standing. It's considered moving. But you are accomplishing something because the main thing is you should have Amos Shemayim and that's what you're accomplishing by standing. That's what the Ta says. The Prima Godam argues. And the Prima Godam says you cannot mix up the din of standing by Shemayim Esrei with Mahalach Koimit. Why? Because it's a beautiful Svara. He says that standing and sitting is one thing, walking and standing is something else. Standing and sitting has to do with the person. I'm standing, I'm sitting. Traveling, mahalach, doesn't have to do with the person. It has to do with your place where you are. It has to do with the place where you are. 
Where are you? I'm traveling. So he says like this, standing by Shemar Netzvah has nothing to do with Mahalach Chaimed. If you're standing, you're standing. Just because it has a din like Mahalach, nothing wrong with that. Does it take away from your standing? Standing is in relevance to where you are. You're moving. Yeah, you are moving. But, I'm still standing in one place. Says the Taz, there's no problem. According to the Taz, it would come out that if you're in a plane, or if you're in a bus, even though it may be harder to stand or to sit, maybe you should stand. Because then at least you're gaining the Amidah. And it's called Oymid. According to the Taz, it holds not called Oymid. It's not called standing. But according to the Prima Godem, it's called standing. And therefore you should stand. Therefore you should stand. Now there's another Shaila, also with Rechev Kimhalech, which is, there's a lacha when an old person walks by you, or your Rebbe walks by you, you have to stand up. Now, how about if he's not walking by you? He's being pushed in a wheelchair. How about if he's driving in a car? If your Rebbe, he's driving in a car right past you, are you required to stand up for him or not? He's not walking. Right? If your Rebbe comes within the other if he's sitting, and you're walking to him, your Rebbe's sitting, you're not required to stand up for him. If he's walking, you have to stand up for him. Ozake, you have to stand up for him when he walks by you. How about if he's not walking by me? He's in a wheelchair, old man in a wheelchair, someone's pushing him. Am I to stand up? How about if you're if your Rebbe drives by in the car? Are you mechuyev to stand up? So if you hold Reichiv Kimahalech, that it's called as if he's walking, then you have to stand up. He goes, he's pushed an old man by you in a wheelchair. It's as if the old man is walking, you have to stand up. You have to stand up for him. Same thing with the Rebbe in the car. You have to stand up for him. So I once heard a kasha, a very interesting kasha. I'm not going to answer the kasha, I don't have a teretz. But some kashas you know are a good kasha, but you don't need a teretz for it. But this is a very good kasha. Someone once asked me, he said, if your Rebbe is traveling in a car, you have to stand up for him. <coughs> How about if you're sitting in the car with your Rebbe? So mm-hmm. what happens is, your Rebbe, right now, as if he's walking, you have to stand up for him. <laughs> now, the luck is, as long as he's walking, it's in Dalar Amis, you have to stay standing. Once he gets out of Dalar Amis, then you have to sit down. If it's a Rebbe Muvik, it's even more, as long as you can see him. So, you have to, at least Dalar Amis, if he's within your Dalar Amis, you have to stand up for him. So you're sitting in a car, and your Rebbe's sitting in the car right in front of you. So how can you do that? He is Rechev Kimahalach. He's as if he's walking. You have to stand up for him. Yeah. You're sitting. You okay. have to come to the You have to ask him. And the question is, if Rabbi Yitzchak al Kmoi Day, Kmoi Day Macho or not? So how are you allowed to sit in the same car as you're ready? It's a good question. He's in his Mokham. What do you mean in his Mokham? <coughs> Where he's sitting now is his Mokham. But it's Kimahalach. That's just. He's Kimahalach. It's as if he's walking. What's the difference? What's the difference? He, no, Reich of Kimahalach. I understand, but he's not Kimahalach, he's not. Have you said that it doesn't have a Mahalach? Not in this case. Why not? Why not? Why does it have a Dinah Mahalach? I'm also to carry to give a ride to the Reddit. No, you're not driving, you're in the back seat. You're a passenger. You're a passenger. What's the header? He's, he's, he has a din right from Kimahalach. So you're going to say if your Rebbe drives by in the car, you're not going to stand up. Also, not. you're in a car, you both in cars, separate cars. No, you have to stand. You have to, you have to stand. You're both in your shoes. How do you do that? And it's also a problem. Same question. Yeah, yeah, same right there. You just have to stand up. You can't stand up, you're in a car. How do you stand up for him? It's the same car. It's a different shoes. Where's the different shoes? It's a car. It's in a different shoes. That's what I mean, different shows. Who says different shows helps? But keep it open, different shows helps. No, 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 different shows. Oh. If you could see him, it's a din. Save a tokum. By a zokin and by a tamad chokum, you can have a wall in front of you, right? A glass wall in front of you? What's the lock? Do you have to stand up or not? There's a glass wall in front of you, right? And a tamad chokum is walking by, in front of the glass wall. It's different Rishos. Are you going to stand up for him or not? Yes. yes. Why? You can see him. Because you can see him. 
That's what Pasha. You're in a balcony. So once told me he saw Shikal Torah. If you're in a balcony. Yeah. He's now in Dalamas. You know what the Alamas of him? But you see a Rebbe. If it's a Rebbe Muvik, you're required to stand up. You're yes. If you're in a balcony and you see a Rabbi Muvik low down, you're required to stand up for him. Not even, not even for a parent. They have a, I have a Sajuba. No. I can talk to you as a Sajuba. Okay, show me a Sajuba. A parent doesn't have to, because a parent is not as long as they see him, that's why. Because now it's the Alamas. There's a question. It, it, the, the, the reason why it may be right is because there is a question. There is a question mm-hmm. if. A Talmud Chochem or a Zaken or a parent is it totally in seeing him or is it totally in a different Rishos? Someone told me, I never saw this inside. Someone told me, what's the Shlokal Torah? Someone wrote Shlokal Torah about this question. If you have to stand up, who I said here once before, if you have to stand up for a Talmud Chochem or Rebbe behind the glass wall. <laughs> and what was the question? The question was there's two Allah, there's one din of Erva, and Erva is you're not allowed to say a bracha in front of someone who's not dressed properly. The halacha with that is, even though there's a glass wall in front of you, different rishos, it doesn't make a difference. As long as you can see it, you can't say the bracha. That's a din erva. There's another halacha that's called soya, which is, which is schmutz, dirt, that's lying someplace, and you want to dive in. If there's a glass wall in front of it, you're allowed to dive in there, even though you can see it. Why? Because there it's not totally in re'ir. There it's totally it's in the same between the same rishos. It's totally if it's in the same Rishos. So this person had a shadow, what's the halacha by Talmud Chacham if you have to stand up for him behind the glass wall? So he labeled his Shrikal Torah Talmud Chacham Doimer L'Tzoya or L'Erva. Now that's called using the Tuch Shulchan you know, using Seichel sometimes. But there, but there definitely is a question about it. I'm not saying everyone holds that way. So Kobe, your truva was that no, Talmud Chacham has a, din, a different rishus. You don't have to stand up for him. But the parent in the balcony. Also, Kobe is a different rishus. Kobe because it's a different rishus. And then the parent in the balcony has to be Dalal Amis. Usually not Dalal Amis. Parent is not Berea. No, no. Not, not always not Berea. Not, it, it has to be within Dalal Amis. <laughs> Can't you say there's like a shear? You stand up, you, you show covers of Tara, and then if you, and, and you acknowledge, he sees you. See, yeah, they, they said so that was says, like but, So it says he has to pass out of the Alam. Now the question is if he stops. He's walking and stops right next to you. Right, so now that it stops, so that's his place. He's not moving anymore. So he's not moving anymore, so you have to stand up for him. Yeah. He's not walking. You have to remain standing. Yeah. You have to remain standing as long as totally leaves the Dalai Lama. But if he... A Reb Mubarak is totally can't see him anymore. It's even further. But it's only while he's walking. If he sits down or stops walking, then you don't have to stand up for him anymore. You can sit down. <coughs> you can sit down. I did want to see something. I don't remember where I saw it. I saw it a while ago. That... That... We had the whole shadow with by Simcha's Torah. How you allowed to sit down with Sefer Torah? The Lach is Sefer Torah that's out of the out of the Oren that's going around. You have to stand up. You can't sit. So by a coffers, people are walking out with Sefer Torahs, and people are sitting. So if the, if the Sefer Torah is moving, you're not allowed to sit. How are you allowed to sit? So I once had a Shlokal Torah. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm a to the people. That, no, I'm a to the people. No, I once heard a Shlokal Torah, similar to what you were saying maybe, that now that's its place. It's not called moving. The place of a safe turn now is in that area. So therefore, it's not called moving. Therefore, if you're in a car with your Rebbe, even though he's a Mahalach, that's his place now, and therefore, you don't have to stand up for him. I'm not saying you understand it, but I've, I, I once saw something like that. Okay? It's a kasha, it's food for thought. What happens if you're sitting in the same car as your Rebbe, the Chayr is Mahalach Chaymet, he's moving, and you're sitting. How does that work? Food for thought. Well, but, a locker room where men are changing. Right. Does it have to go into the corridor to say bracha, a glass of water? Yeah, yeah. outside. So as long as you went, you, you shouldn't be in the same room. In the same room, well. correct. So the corridor is still within the dynamic. It's still. It's very different. It's a different room. So this, so the corridor is okay. Different room, yeah. Back, different room. Ideally, your back should be so you can't see the correct. The locker. Correct. Room. All right. So then there's another halacha about this, which is also very interesting, which is by benching. This is a very, very, this is a very common shayla. This is a very common shayla. The shayla is here, if someone is, has to bench. As we said, we said before, if someone's davening, he should, uh, if he's uh, running on a chamar, it's fine. 
have him home halach but derech for eichel. Ain't sarech leisha with a varach with your ain't dati mishavas alam. Someone's going in the way he's walking, and he had, and he ate, and now he wants to bench. Does so he have to stop and bench? Was he allowed to bench while he's walking? The halach is he's allowed to continue walking and bench while he's walking. Why? Because if he have to stop, he's going to be in a rush. He's not going to be able to continue to bench like a bench, and therefore he's allowed to do it. Says the says the the Mishabur over here. This im yeshev mifnei sheyikshu ba'enov ichur darkoi v'leyuchal chav and yafo. Therefore, he's allowed to continue walking and bench. That's what the Mechaber says. Says the Chaya Odom. This is only if the person ate while he was walking. But if he ate while he was sitting, and then he gets up and he starts walking, he's not allowed to bench walking. That's what the Chaya Odom says. <coughs> It's only if he ate while he was walking. For, uh, someone it sucks a candy, right? He eats a candy. So, no true for a much about that. Usually when you're eating, you're not allowed to be oikim and You're allowed to leave the place where you're eating. So if he's sucking a candy, so now you make a bracha here, you're oikim and koimoi, you stop yourself, you uproot your place, you're walking around sucking a candy. The says that by sucking a candy, at some place we say today the same thing by coffee, there's no kivias mocking for any place. So wherever you are is its place. <coughs> if someone's walking and he's eating, or he's in a car, Rechev Kemahalach told me. Someone's in a car, someone's traveling. So what do you do? You make a bazaar, you eat something while you're driving, and then you want a bench, you want to make alamicha while you're driving. So let's talk about a passenger first. A passenger, the lacha is, you're allowed to do it, even though Rechev Kemahalach, the lacha is, you're allowed to bench while you're in the car. How about the driver? Is the driver allowed to bench while he's driving? So we saw before that the person would say that today's cars are not like Khamerun. You can't concentrate while you're driving. So if someone's going to bench while he's driving, you can't really have too much kavana. So it's not a good idea to bench while you're driving because you can't concentrate. You can't have any kavana. And same thing with any bracha. Any bracha you want to make while you're driving, if you could short bracha, you could concentrate on that bracha, fine. But if it's alamicha, anything like that, it's, hard, it's very hard to do it while you're driving unless you're on a highway and you're on cruise control and it's a long stretch. There, it's possible to have kavana. There, I can tell you from experience, there's no one in front of you and you're driving, it's possible to have kavana. Who's the people have kavana when they're home? Yeah, and the chami. And the but they're supposed to have kavana. So you can say it's to when you're driving? No, stop. If you don't know it by heart, can you, somebody else say it for you? Yes, yes. It's better, so if you're driving, it's better, even if you know by heart, it's better somebody else to say Tfil Zaderech, not you. Because you can't you concentrate. What about, the, what about the Baruch No, then you do yourself. You're not much to each other with, uh, with uh, the Baruch can, can you repeat after somebody that's saying it? Yeah, yeah you can repeat after somebody. It doesn't help because the Kavan is the same. If you know by heart. I had, I had an unbelievable story today. Someone told me an unbelievable story about benching. And, you know, we tend to bench by heart and on. So... The story was that with the Matsyo Solomon, that he was a Meshkiach in Lakewood, he is a Meshkiach in Lakewood. He went to the Shach once, years ago, and he told him that he's struggling. The Shach asked him what's going, how's it going, and he said he's struggling with Parnassus, so he's having a hard time making ends meet. So the Shach told him, bench from a sitter, bench inside. And he said that Abchaim Oizer, Abchaim Oizer was, was an unbelievable genius, that he could do four things at one time. He used to listen to people reading him letters and write answers and do three or four things at one time. It's an unbelievable genius of Chaim Moiser. They said there was a story with Rabbi Chaim Moiser that he, there was a person, he was, he was in charge of the Vadat Stockers over there in Vilna. And the person had a ledger and they wrote down all the Stockers who it went to. And one day, that person's house, the secretary's house, burnt, was burning down. And the person came crying to Abraham Moiser and said, you know, I'm, the ledgers of all the stockists, we're not going to have any, any cheshbet of what, uh, what went where. So he says, don't worry about it. Give me a pen and paper. He brought to Abraham Moiser a pen and paper. He sat there a few minutes and he wrote down every single stocker that was given out and to who it was given to. It was an unbelievable head. And Abraham Moiser never benched by heart. Now, Abraham Moiser's benching by heart is like us saying, Moida Ani, those two words by heart. He, he, he was, it was, he never benched, benched from a sitter. So if Shach told him, if, uh, if, um, if, uh, let's call it, uh, Matzio Salomon, bench from a sitter, and then things will get better. He came back there two, three years later, 
And the Pshach asked him, how's it going? He says, better, but not, not the greatest. He says, did you keep to it? Did you always bench from a sitter? So he says, I always bench from a sitter. Besides, one time I was in a place, they by Simcha or something, and there were no benches. So I had, I had to bench. I had no choice. I benched my heart. So the Pshach said, no, not good. Why not? What would you say? Go out, get a bencher, right? He said, no. He says, he said, what you should, what you should have done is... Go home. Write no, it, write it no. Down. Write it down on a piece of paper, benching. You knew by heart. <laughs> write it down on a piece of paper, and then bench from the paper. Oh, wow. Unbelievable story. <laughs> write it down on a piece of paper, and then bench from the paper. That That's called benching, not by heart. You're benching, from, you're benching from the paper. Is that the end of the story, or he, he did it? You wonder if it got better? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 the rest of the story. I don't know what happened if it got better. <laughs> but uh, you see, the, you see so if, the, here we're talking about benching while you're driving, having kavana, right? The best moved, thing is, if a person to could, to he should always bench from a sitter. But the Chai Adam says, another interesting halacha, that it's only if you ate while you were driving. Let's say somebody was, st was stopped by a rest stop, right? he sat down, he ate something, and then he goes into the car and he wants to bench on the way. Oh. There you can't do that. That you can't do. What if you continue the meal in the car? So that's the question. Chaim doesn't say that. Chaim doesn't say if you ate sitting, and then you, and then you want to bench walking. So the question is, what's Pshat the Chaya Adam? The Kobe Pshat the Chaya Adam is, is because if you were eating, moving, that is your place of Achila. So the same thing would be that the second half of my meal is my place of Achille is moving. But the problem with that would be is that, so now you have two places of Achille. I ate in one place, and now I ate in another place. But it could be, according to, even according to the Chai Odom, if you start off in one place, you wash, and you eat a Kazayas, and then you go into the car and you finish eating your suda in the car, then the Chai, even according to the Chai Odom, you're okay. Because your real suda is in the car. You had to wash somewhere. So you wash and you ate a Kazayas there. But your main suit was while you were driving. So even according to the Chayot of Pashas... You have that in mind when you wash, that yes. the washing is going on? For sure, for sure. If you're washing and you're eating the Zayat in one place, you have to have a mind that you end up the suit in your car. <coughs> for sure. When you go to a kosher restaurant, they leave the bread by the sink, but your table right. is at the other end yes, of the Yes, you have to have a mind. For sure, yeah, you do, you do have a mind. You're a Mac, have so a mind. You know you're eating there. It's better to, to eat No, I right think it's there. better to wash there and not to eat by the table. Right. Unless you're talking about going from... Uh, no, no, just in the same... No, it's probably better to, wa to wash and then to sit down by the table and eat. Mm -hmm. That's why chassas, they have a lot of times, they have uh, yeah. little pieces of bread. Yeah. Better to wash, sit down, and eat by the table. That's what we learned, didn't we learn here one time by a shirt that you have to have your ten fingers on it? You taught us, you have to have your ten yeah, fingers yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how bad, yeah. Small little bit, it's very hard, I tried to put my ten fingers on it. Isn't it better to make the bracha on the bread? On a full bread, for sure, also. Also, better to make a bracha on a double shalom. Yeah, for sure.